Okay, now we'll talk about the three authors of the cell theory. So we've kind of zipped forward in time a bit. So now we're in the 1800s. So people have had time to um, learn about microscopes, use microscopes, and be able to see and study cells. So we have here for Schleiden. Now Schleiden is a botanist, so that means that he studies plants. And his big claim to fame or his contribution is by studying his plants with microscopes, he discovered that all plants are made of cells. So in every plant tissue that he observed, he observed cells. Um, and then he also contributed to science by saying that the nucleus seems to be the most uh, important part of the cell. So our, our second contributor here, uh, Theodore Schwann. Now uh, you've got these three scientists that contributed to the cell theory. And I can always start to remember which one's which, who did what, by Schwann, a swan. So Theodor Swan, uh, he studied animals, animal tissues, and he came to the conclusion that all animals are made of cells. And then last but not least, we have Rudolf Virchow. Now, Rudolf Virchow, his contribution, uh, Omnicellula e cellula, was more about kind of like this last part of the cell theory in terms of the origin of cells. And what he came up with is that cells come from other cells. So this was another step in disproving spontaneous generation.